Hi, it's me, Teacher Lisa. Welcome back to the Brick Studio channel. Have a like and subscribe our channel. If you haven't, please do it now so that you can get the notification every time when we upload our video. Okay, so today Christmas is coming, so we are going to the snow place. Okay, can you make a guess of uh, what is this about? Okay, this is actually is a snowmobile. Okay, snowmobile is actually a vehicle, a special vehicle that designed to move on the snowy uh, surface. Okay, because when you have the, if you live in a country that um, covered by the snow uh, during the winter time, you're gonna notice that uh, it is actually a lot more slippery. Okay, it's a lot more slippery than our raining uh, floors over here. Okay, you imagine that um, you're walking on an ice. It is actually very very slippery so even our, our normal car with the normal tire uh, we are not able to move uh, correctly on the uh, snow place so we have a special vehicle which we call it the snow mobile okay so are you ready for this one okay let's go This model, I was, I would uh, say, it's not easy. Okay, it's not easy. I have been building it a few times, and I find it's a lot tricky. But no worry, I have uh, found a way how we can actually build it a lot much uh, easier. Okay. Before we move on, again, like and subscribe our channel so that you can get a notification from us whenever we upload our video. Thank you. Right. Okay. Let's start. Right. If you can see the snow mobile over here. Uh, looks very simple that we have something um what do you call it the snow plow thing to like uh, scrap the snow away if there is some snow of course this is not to design for a very very heavy very very thick snow all right and then the wheels is at the back here we have four wheels all right we we, we can also use this round brick as a wheel right one person only one person to sit here this is your handle there you go right so i'm gonna start with the body the side body so we have two sides of body and don't forget we have two sides of body again we will need the one by eight okay and the one by six for each side right so put it this way okay i like to put them this way so that you know they are actually for two sides all right and then um we will need we will need the black pin for this side Okay, for the left side, we will only need it for one side. Okay, for this round, we will only need it for one side. Okay, so the left side, put pin at each one, one top, one at the bottom, at the right, at the end. The wheel, we will need one of this, uh, and we will need three of this axle number three. Of course, we will need these four wheels. All right, so these are the items. Right. How do we do that? Okay, put this in. Okay, bear in mind for this, so for the wheel, because this is only an axle number three, so we don't have much more allowance for the brakes. Okay, and this part is somehow is uh, movable, right? So we have to make sure it's secure nicely at the place. So do not have even 1 mm or 0 0.5 mm uh, sticking it out make sure it goes tightly inside flat okay flat no need to say submerge but it's flat okay right we need two sets flat like this okay put it one side like this all right the handle one more xo3 we will put it at the handle uh, put it at one of the top end this way all right okay if you look um the snow mobile is in this way so we will need to put in this hole the hole next to the axle hole here and then um, snug the other one at the other end so make sure nothing sticking out from the uh, round brick because if it sticks out it has not enough space to hold the other brick at the other end okay right the other one we will just uh, put it at the corner here okay somewhere there just next to it you will know because the the hole right next to it you you won't be able to hold it anymore 
Okay, so make sure it's not in. Right, so there you go. Cute. Okay, this is not a snail, yeah? Alright, so this is the part for the wheel that we're gonna put it there. Right, for the handle side, I would like to start with this. The axle number 3. Okay, and one L3. Put it here. Put it through. Keep it in the center. Keep it in the center. This way. Alright, and then we have one more handle at the end. This is interesting. We will need these two uh, holes, two holes break. Okay, two holes break, and then um, two of the axle number three, two of the axle number three, and one black pin. One black pin. Alright, one black pin. Okay, this is. Um, I hope you guys are okay until here, alright? Uh, we already get like one, two, three, four, four parts and now we are getting the fifth part, alright? Before we gonna able to assemb uh, assemble them. Right, for this one, okay, put it this way. The axle number three definitely go through the axle hole, center, axle hole, center, okay, axle hole center, and you snuck in one uh, black pin into one of the uh, hole at the bottom here. Right, so now you have this, you make sure uh, one up, one down, put it this way. I'm gonna connect it this way. Alright, so I hope you guys are okay. We are going to assemble them. Okay, now we have the five parts of it, okay? So we're gonna assemble the body, we're gonna assemble the body, we're gonna assemble the front part first. This the L shape, we are going to the bottom of the 1x6, the 1x6, alright? Next, the axle will go into the hole next to the black pin. So the black pin is actually help to hold the L shape. Remember, I said minimum two points. The part will stay in place. All right. So not to put in this one first, and then the next one is this the holder. All right. It's an S shape, not an Z. S. All right. S. Put it next to it. This one. Put it next to it. Alright, I hope you're clear. For the wheel, we're gonna put it next to the uh, black pin and top of this one by eight. Okay. And then we're gonna put this part on the other side. Second hole, go into the second hole. Oh yeah, there you go. The top part, second hole. The bottom part, uh, look for the long, long piece. So axle number six, go into the second hole. So it should be in this way, right? It should be in this way. While we are going to our, while we are going to do this for two sides for the, for what you call that, uh, push the snow away, right? Um, we will also need this two sides. So, axle number three, go in. All right, this way. Remember, it's two sides, so it has to be a mirror image. It's not double, right? We have to do it this way. We have to do it this way. All right, if you put the leg together, make sure these two things are inside, in between these two L shape. So we are going to put this thingy into the axle number six. All right, we're gonna go through this axle hole. Go through the axle hole, left and right. Left and right, okay, cool. They are now in place already. You will not be able to open up this one, okay? Because we have locked these two sides. So they are now in place. What is missing? The proper handle and the seat, okay? The proper handle and the seat, okay? Let's do the handle first, all right? Let's do the handle. Um, hmm, I will need this, right? For the handle, we will need the axle number three and to leave unbanned, all right? So the, the, the handle has to be this way, all right? The handle has to be this way, it's not this way, so you have to figure it out, this one, go that. Um, I'm gonna put one of the axle, three at the bottom. Go into this hole, the hole at this corner. Okay, the hole at the corner here. Go in, go through this way, all right? Then at the same time, at the same time, at the top part here, Go through it. So now you will be able to see one side is already in place. So we will do the same for the other side. 
right? We will be doing the same. The axle, axle shape is already in place. You just need to put it in for this case, all right? They are already in the place. So there you go. The handle is up. The last thing that we need to put is the seat, all right? The seat. At the back here, just you can just simply put it here. So that I can put a little seat here. Oh, so cute. I was not what is that? There you go. I hope you like it. Yeah, I like it too. After I built it, I find it's very cool in terms of the function, in terms of the design. Even though I would say this model is moderate. I hope you enjoy it and hope you can play uh, with imagination. You are in a snow place. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. So I'm going to see you next time. Bye. Yeah.